Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here uh, on this channel, we basically do anything engine related, whether it's golf carts, cars, tractors, anything engine related, and some spirited driving with some of my toys here. Today we're gonna be working on this club car. Here she is. So for today's project, what I'm going to try to do is get the back of it off, get this K-series Kohler mounted in there. That way I can see what I need for a clutch belt and a clutch. Um, I'm going to be painting some of the plastics on this thing to make it look a little better than what it is. Um, I really want to get this thing out of here because the snow is coming and I want to be able to drive this thing and move it instead of towing it around all over my yard and from here to the shed to here. So let's get started. All right, guys, so I have done a little bit of work on this, uh, before I had, uh, took some bolts out and so some of it basically is going to come apart pretty easy. Um, so let's get the back half of this off so we can see what we're working with. are off and try to sit the engine in there. So, definitely gonna fit in that pan. Engine looks to be a little bit bigger than the previous engine that was in here. Um, I am gonna have to, excuse me. All right guys, check it out. A few things we're gonna need to do here uh, before we actually fasten this engine down onto this plate. So, a couple things here. I'm gonna take off these belt guards from the previous clutch system. Here, here, here. Get rid of that. Um, another issue would be, here's our drain plug. And this ridge right here comes up and this drain plug is butted up against it. So, couple options. I could just cut it out of there. I could cut a slit in it, bend it down. That way, if I wanted to, if I needed to reuse it, I could just bend it back up and weld it in. Um, also, I don't want to mount it in here until I get the clutch because I kind of need the, the clutch on there to line it up the belt and then I can mount it. Um, 
also i mean one good thing you know you got the starter on the actual engine so i don't have to worry about a starter um yeah so what we can do is some wiring and i also want to just clean up some of the plastics i got some like paint that we can paint this with to make it look a little cleaner um yeah and then we'll go from there um i'm gonna go ahead and get some of these brackets off and we'll go from there hey guys new day i've been working on wiring this here golf cart and I think I'm just going to go with the same harness that I put in my wheel horse. If you haven't seen that video, go check it out. It's in some of my previous videos where I rewire my wheel horse tractor. Um, so for now, what I think I'm going to do is order one of those panel switches that comes with the relay. And I'm going to order a clutch as well. And then that way we can get back into working on this thing. I think what I'm going to go do is I really want to go take my wheel horse out in the snow. Uh, we did get snow last night and I think it'd be kind of cool to go take it for a ride. So I'm going to get bundled up and we'll get right back with you. Well, here she is in all her glory. Let's see if she'll fire up. Oops.
fun. Um, it's going to be the end of this video so I can get this video out for you guys. Um, if you're new here and you like this type of content, hit that subscribe, hit that like, maybe even comment down below. Um, for all my returning subscribers, thank you. I really appreciate it. And all of you throw a comment down there. Um, I like to engage with this as well. So say hi, say where you're from, say whatever. Uh, I guess I'll see you in the next one. Peace.